There are now 10 confirmed cases of measles in Chicago. Eight are connected to a migrant shelter in Pilsen, and two others are CPS students. Eric Rong is live in the newsroom with more on this development. Eric? Good morning. The students go to two different schools, one in Bridgeport, the other near the migrant shelter in Pilsen. CPS students are required by state law to be vaccinated for measles, but there are exceptions. After the first case of measles was reported in one of the largest migrant shelters in the city last week, public health workers warned more cases would be coming. This is an unprecedented situation. Thousands of migrants have been sent to Chicago, and while meeting their immediate needs of shelter, food, and clothing come first, medical screenings and care are also provided. Many migrants arrive without typical vaccinations or they may not know which vaccines they may have received in their country of origin. Chicago Department of Public Health says education and vaccination stations are made available at each shelter at least once a week. When the measles showed up at the shelter in Pilsen last Thursday, CDPH sent in a team of public health workers. We uh, started there Thursday night and throughout Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we worked 12 to 16 hour shifts uh, in the shelter to get everybody vaccinated who we could not uh, verify. More than 900 people were vaccinated in that short period of time and CDPH says it had no refusals from people eligible for the vaccine. The newly vaxxed are currently waiting out a 21-day quarantine for the vaccine to fully kick in. Those with very young children, families with uh, pregnant individuals, um, to a special space that they can stay um, and be separated from the rest of the people at this facility. One case at the shelter is a child who attends Cooper Dual Language School on the near west side. The other child attends Armoire Elementary School in Bridgeport. In a letter, CPS CEO Pedro Martinez tries to assure parents this is not going to be another COVID-19 situation, stating more than 90 percent of Chicago is vaccinated against the virus and are at very low risk. He also pushed the same message about the highly effective vaccine as CDPH. If you are not vaccinated, please get vaccinated. This is the way to stop the spread of measles. Um, in our city. By state law, public schools require children to be vaccinated against measles unless parents provide a medical or religious waiver or the child is in a temporary housing situation. Many migrant children find themselves in this category. The goal here is to really balance the needs for students to be able to have the community and otherwise mental health and educational support that is provided by schools while they are in the process of getting connected to a health care provider and to be able to receive those vaccines. Now, CPS says only a handful of non-migrant students have vaccination waivers. It is contacting those students' parents directly on what protocols need to be followed to prevent the spread of measles. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.